Quarterly Selected Services Estimates, First Quarter 2020. For release at 10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, Thursday, June 11, 2020. Statement regarding COVID-19 impact, due to recent events surrounding COVID-19, many businesses are operating on a limited capacity or have ceased operations completely. The Census Bureau has monitored response and data quality and determined estimates in this release meet publication standards. For more information on the compilation of this quarter's report, see COVID-19 FAQs. June 11, 2020, the U.S. Census Bureau announced the following selected services estimates for the first calendar quarter of 2020. Selected services. Total revenue. 1Q 2020, $4,008.5 billion. Minus 2.9%. 4Q 2019. Revised. $4,128.3 billion. Plus 1.0%. Next release, August 19, 2020. Selected services total, U.S. selected services total revenue for the first quarter of 2020, adjusted for seasonal variation but not for price changes, was $4,008.5 billion, a decrease of 2.9% plus or minus 0.4% from the fourth quarter of 2019 and up 0.8% plus or minus 0.4% from the first quarter of 2019. The fourth quarter of 2019 to first quarter of 2020 percentage change was revised from the advance estimate of minus 2.8% plus or minus 0.4%. Utilities, U.S. utilities revenue for the first quarter of 2020, adjusted for seasonal variation but not for price changes, was $145.1 billion, a decrease of 3.6% plus or minus 1.5% from the fourth quarter of 2019 and down 3.8% plus or minus 1.1% from the first quarter of 2019. The third quarter of 2019 to fourth quarter of 2019 percentage change was revised from 1.1% plus or minus 1.3% asterisk to 0.8% plus or minus 1.3% asterisk. Transportation and warehousing. U.S. transportation and warehousing revenue for the first quarter of 2020, adjusted for seasonal variation but not for price changes, was $241.3 billion, a decrease of 5.0% plus or minus 0.6% from the fourth quarter of 2019 and down 3.6% plus or minus 1.3% from the first quarter of 2019. The third quarter of 2019 to fourth quarter of 2019 percentage change was revised from 1.0% plus or minus 0.8% to 1.0% plus or minus 0.9%. Information, U.S. information sector revenue for the first quarter of 2020, adjusted for seasonal variation but not for price changes, was $441.8 billion, an increase of 0.2% plus or minus 0.4%. Asterisk from the fourth quarter of 2019 and up 4.7% plus or minus 0.6% from the first quarter of 2019. The third quarter of 2019 to fourth quarter of 2019 percentage change was revised from 1.3% plus or minus 0.6% to 1.2% plus or minus 0.6%. Real estate and rental and leasing. U.S. real estate and rental and leasing revenue for the first quarter of 2020, adjusted for seasonal variation but not for price changes, was $190.6 billion, an increase of 0.3% plus or minus 1.1% asterisk from the fourth quarter of 2019 and up 3.7% plus or minus 1.3% from the first quarter of 2019. The third quarter of 2019 to fourth quarter of 2019 percentage change was revised from minus 0.2% plus or minus 1.3% asterisk to minus 0.1% plus or minus 1.1% asterisk. Professional, Scientific, and Technical Services U.S. professional, scientific, and technical services revenue for the first quarter of 2020, adjusted for seasonal variation but not for price changes, was $508.3 billion, a decrease of 0.2% plus or minus 1.9% asterisk from the fourth quarter of 2019 and up 4.3% plus or minus 1.5% from the first quarter of 2019. 
The third quarter of 2019 to fourth quarter of 2019 percentage change was revised from minus 0.1% plus or minus 1.3% asterisk to 0.1% plus or minus 1.3% asterisk. Administrative and Support and Waste Management and Remediation Services U.S. Administrative and Support and Waste Management and Remediation Services revenue for the first quarter of 2020, adjusted for seasonal variation but not for price changes, was $266.3 billion, a decrease of 1.3 percent, plus or minus 1.3 percent, asterisk from the fourth quarter of 2019 and up 2.0 percent, plus or minus 2.3 percent, asterisk from the first quarter of 2019. The third quarter of 2019 to fourth quarter of 2019 percentage change was revised from 2.0% plus or minus 1.3% to 1.7% plus or minus 1.1%. Health care and social assistance. U.S. health care and social assistance revenue for the first quarter of 2020, adjusted for seasonal variation but not for price changes, was $684.3 billion, a decrease of 3.7% plus or minus 0.8% from the fourth quarter of 2019 and up 0.1% plus or minus 1.1% asterisk from the first quarter of 2019. The third quarter of 2019 to fourth quarter of 2019 percentage change was revised from 1.5% plus or minus 0.9% to 1.6% plus or minus 0.9%. Arts, Entertainment, and Recreation. U.S. Arts, Entertainment, and Recreation revenue for the first quarter of 2020, adjusted for seasonal variation but not for price changes, was $67.1 billion, a decrease of 11.3% plus or minus 1.9% from the fourth quarter of 2019 and down 9.7% plus or minus 2.5% from the first quarter of 2019. The third quarter of 2019 to fourth quarter of 2019 percentage change was revised from 0.4% plus or minus 3.2% asterisk to 0.5% plus or minus 3.4% asterisk. Finance and insurance. U.S. finance and insurance revenue for the first quarter of 2020, not adjusted for seasonal variation, or price changes, was $1,259.9 billion, a decrease of 0.5% plus or minus 0.6% asterisk from the fourth quarter of 2019 and up 2.5% plus or minus 1.3% from the first quarter of 2019. The fourth quarter of 2019 to first quarter of 2020 percentage change was revised from the advance estimate of minus 0.4% plus or minus 0.6% asterisk. Educational services. U.S. educational services revenue for the first quarter of 2020, not adjusted for seasonal variation, or price changes, was $17.4 billion, a decrease of 8.1% plus or minus 3.0% from the fourth quarter of 2019 and down 4.0% plus or minus 3.0% from the first quarter of 2019. The fourth quarter of 2019 to first quarter of 2020 percentage change was revised from the advance estimate of minus 8.2% plus or minus 3.2%. Accommodation, U.S. accommodation revenue for the first quarter of 2020, not adjusted for seasonal variation, or price changes, was $53.4 billion, a decrease of 18.6% plus or minus 1.5% from the fourth quarter of 2019 and down 14.5% plus or minus 3.0% from the first quarter of 2019. The fourth quarter of 2019 to first quarter of 2020 percentage change was revised from the advance estimate of minus 19.4% plus or minus 1.3%. Other services except public administration. U.S. other services except public administration revenue for the first quarter of 2020, not adjusted for seasonal variation, or price changes, was $132 billion, a decrease of 27.2% plus or minus 3.8% from the fourth quarter of 2019 and down 12.1% plus or minus 2.5% from the first quarter of 2019. The fourth quarter of 2019 to first quarter of 2020 percentage change was revised from the advance estimate of minus 28.9% plus or minus 3.4%.
general information, intention to expand seasonal adjustment. Beginning with the March 2021 release for the fourth quarter of 2020, we anticipate the introduction of new seasonally adjusted estimates of revenue for selected industries within NAICS sectors 48 to 49, 51, 54, 61, 81, and subsector 721 into the full quarterly services report. For more information, please visit our seasonal adjustment FAQs https colon slash slash www.census.gov slash services slash qss slash seasonally underscore adjusted underscore FAQs dot html. Upcoming benchmarking. Effective with the February 2021 advance release for the fourth quarter of 2020, not seasonally adjusted quarterly services estimates will be revised to reflect historical corrections and results of the 2019 Service Annual Survey. The seasonally adjusted selected services total will be revised to reflect historical corrections, results of the 2019 Service Annual Survey, and new seasonal factors. File Format Update with the release of the second quarter 2020 Advance Quarterly Services Report on August 19, 2020, the format of the latest publication Excel documents will change from XLS to XLSX. This change will impact any programs that automatically retrieve data by using the document link. Historical Excel files prior to the second quarter 2020 Advance release will remain as XLS and will not change. Release Schedule the second quarter 2020 Advance Quarterly Services Report is scheduled for release on August 19, 2020. View the full schedule in the Economic Briefing Room, www.census.gov slash economic dash indicators slash. Additional industry detail and estimates of revenue, expenses, inpatient days, and discharges can be found at www.census.gov slash services slash. Resources. API. The Census Bureau's application programming interface lets developers create custom apps to reach new users and makes key demographic, socioeconomic and housing statistics more accessible than ever before. www.census.gov slash developers slash. Table 1A. Selected services, estimated quarterly revenue for employer firms, seasonally adjusted, 1, 2. Estimates are adjusted for seasonal variation but not for price changes and are based on data from the Quarterly Services Survey. For additional information see www.census.gov services. Table 1b. Selected services, estimated quarterly revenue for employer firms, not seasonally adjusted.
Table 2. Selected Services, Estimated Measures of Sampling Variability. Explanatory Notes. Survey Description. The U.S. Census Bureau conducts the Quarterly Services Survey to provide national estimates of quarterly revenue for employer firms located in the United States and classified in select service industries. The current total sample size is approximately 19,500 employer firms. Each quarter, questionnaires are mailed to a probability sample of employer firms selected from the larger service annual survey sample. The QSS sample includes firms of all sizes and is updated on a quarterly basis to account for new services businesses, deaths, and other changes to the survey universe. Data for non-responding firms are imputed based on data for similar-sized firms classified in the same kind of business. The following table lists imputation rates of total quarterly revenue for the industries published in the QSS. Quarterly revenue estimates are obtained by summing weighted data either reported or imputed, where the weight for a particular unit is the reciprocal of its probability of being selected into the sample. The estimates are benchmarked using results of the latest SAS. Additional information on the QSS can be found on the Census Bureau website at www.census.gov services Description of Seasonal Adjustment to derive the seasonally adjusted revenue estimates published in this report, we used all available quarterly revenue estimates as input to the Census Bureau's X-13 ARIMA seats program. With each non-advance quarterly release, we publish preliminary seasonally adjusted estimates for the current quarter and revised seasonally adjusted estimates for the previous five quarters. The seasonal adjustment models used to derive seasonal factors for each kind of business are evaluated annually and will not be revised until the next benchmarking operation. For a table of the seasonal adjustment factors, see www.census.gov slash services slash QSS slash QSSSFactors.xls. A list of frequently asked questions on seasonal adjustment of QSS estimates is available at www.census.gov slash services slash QSS slash seasonally underscore adjusted underscore FAQs. Reliability of the estimates. The estimates in this report may differ from the actual, but unknown, population values. For a particular estimate, statisticians define this difference as the total error of the estimate. When describing the accuracy of survey results, it is convenient to discuss total error as the sum of sampling error and non-sampling error. Non-sampling error is the difference between the actual population parameter and the value that would be derived by surveying the entire set of units identified as the survey universe, the sampling frame. There are many potential contributors to non-sampling error, the inclusion of erroneous units in the survey overcoverage, the exclusion of eligible units from the survey undercoverage, non-response, misreporting, mistakes in recording and coding responses, misinterpretation of questions, and other errors of collection, response, coverage, or processing. Though non-sampling error is not measured directly, the Census Bureau employs quality control procedures throughout the process to minimize this type of error. Sampling error is the average difference between the estimate and the result that would be obtained from a complete enumeration of the sampling frame conducted under the same survey conditions. This error occurs because only a subset of the entire sampling frame is measured in a sample survey. Common measures of sampling error are the sampling variance, the standard error, and the coefficient of variation. The sampling variance is defined as the squared difference, averaged over all possible samples of the same size and design, between the estimator and its average value. The standard error is the square root of the sampling variance. The CV expresses the standard error as a percentage of the estimate to which it refers. For example, an estimate of 200 units that has an estimated standard error of 10 units has an estimated CV of 5%. The sampling variance, standard error, and CV of an estimate can be estimated from the selected sample because the sample was selected using probability sampling. Standard errors and coefficients of variation are given in Table 2 of this report. The first page of this release gives statements about the change in revenue from a prior period. Each change estimate is accompanied by a number in parentheses, called the margin of error. 
The margin of error can be used to construct a 90% confidence interval, which is interpreted as follows. If, for each possible sample, an estimate and its approximate standard error are obtained, then for approximately 90% of the possible samples, the interval from 1.895 standard errors below to 1.895 standard errors above the estimate would include the average of the estimates derived from all possible samples. If, for example, a particular change estimate is plus 1.2% and its associated margin of error is plus or minus 1.5 percentage points, then the 90% confidence interval for the change estimate is minus 0.3% to plus 2.7%. If the interval contains zero, then one does not have sufficient evidence to conclude at the 90% confidence level that the actual change is different from zero. Each comparison stated in this report has undergone statistical testing and is significant at the 90% confidence level, unless otherwise noted. Data users should take into account the estimates of sampling error and the potential effects of non-sampling error when using the statistics in this publication. Additional information regarding the methodology used in conducting this survey is available at www.census.gov slash services slash QSS slash how underscore the underscore data underscore are underscore collected.